Well, I got a quick little video for you guys today. So, you know, I'm always interested in, you know, building portable power stations and reviewing portable power stations and this, that, and the other. And so, you know, one of the big questions that everybody likes to talk about is, you know, running heaters and air conditioners so they can, you know, go camping or cut back on their electric bill or just whatever. But, uh, you know, for a while, it's been in my mind, you know, I was always thinking, well, what if my power went out and I didn't have no heat or any of that? Or if I wanted to go camping, obviously you can't really run a, a space heater on, you know, a portable power station and it's not practical to take a huge, you know, uh, portable power station with you like some of the really big ones. And so you don't want to have to lug a big one around. So I got to thinking, well, you know, why can't you just do like a little heated blanket? So I was in Walmart last night. Me and my girlfriend uh, seen this one. It was on clearance. It was like uh, $17 or something. They're normally like 23, 24 bucks. And we picked this one up and, and uh, it was back there in the automotive section. I'd seen it many times, but I never would pay the 25 bucks for it. I'm cheap. But uh, as you can see, you know, it's pretty decent size uh, blanket and you know I just wanted to get a test for you guys on just a quick test nothing special uh, but I've got it plugged into a uh, portable power station here you can see this one here this is the nice pro that I just reviewed a few days ago and uh, anyways I just wanted to show you what kind of wattage you know this thing uses right now it's showing on high that it, that it uses about 58 59 watts so that's not real bad, you know, if the thing's when it's on high. And then you can turn it off, and then you can turn it down to low. And then on low, it's putting out about, or using about 47 to 51 watts. You can see it right in there. And so on, on low, it shows that it can run for about 15 hours. So that's a long time. I mean, you try to compare this to, you know, a little space heater or something like that, and it's not even going to run maybe an hour. Just a small space heater, like maybe a 400 watt one or something like that. Just a real tiny one. You're, you're not going to get much run time out of it. But, you know, I figured, you know, if you were in a bind and you needed a good way to stay warm, you know, this would be a pretty efficient way. You know, anything that you plug into this that uses just DC power where the inverter doesn't have to turn on, it's just going to be more efficient. Uh, then, you know, having to turn the AC inverter on and you got to keep in mind that AC inverters using power. Anyways, you can see right there, 47 watts on low. Now, let's do it again once I kick it back up on high. You can see it sits 60 and it says 11 hours of runtime. So, now 12 hours of runtime. It takes a few minutes to stabilize out. This blanket, I think regular, it's only like 20 something dollars yeah it's it's the auto drive blanket from walmart it's uh 2374 it's 57 by 39 and it weighs two pounds and it got four out of five stars now one thing that uh i noticed that when we were pulling the thing out of the package it did say not to run it for an more than an hour continuous I don't know why it said that, but we ran it last night for probably an hour and we didn't have any problems out of it. And so I, you know, I don't understand why, but uh, anyways, I wouldn't hesitate to run it longer than that. But now keep in mind, whenever you're using a blanket like this, it's got these little heating elements on the inside of it. So make sure that, you know, you don't try to pull on it because if you break one of those elements in there, I'm sure the blanket won't even work. But I figured, you know, it's on clearance for like 17 bucks. What the heck? And, uh, you know, if I wanted to go camping with it, I could take it camping. If I wanted it, you know, just keep it in the car on a trip or something like that, it would be pretty cool just to have in there. So, anyways, I'm not going to make this video long to draw out. Just thought, you know, somebody needed a good way to heat themselves up for the least amount of watts. This would be a good way rather than running a space heater. So, anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Till next time, see ya.